Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. So for tea tonight, I'm going to be making haggis, neeps and tatties. This is a very, very Scottish thing, as I'm sure you'll all know. And it's basically just haggis with mashed turnip and mashed potato. I mean, you don't have to use mashed potato, but typically that's what's used. And a nice sort of creamy whiskey sauce. Again, you don't have to use whiskey, but typically that's what's used. So if you want to give it a go guys, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need 4 or 5 good size dry potatoes such as King Edward's or Maris Piper's, 250 grams of mashed turnip, 300 grams of haggis and for the sauce, you're going to need 1 tablespoon of Dijon mustard, 15 grams of butter, 1 tablespoon of whiskey which is optional, 200ml of double cream and 250ml of chicken stock. So let's go over to the cooker and see what we do next. So this is your haggis guys, now I suggest you get the best that you can or the best that you can afford because it really does make a big big difference because bearing in mind this is the main thing in your dish. So you want to sort of slice up what you're going to need off of your haggis and just put it in uh, a pan with very little oil, bearing in mind that this is actually quite oily so you're not going to need too much oil but just make sure you kind of stir it around and break it up to begin with just to get it going and then once it's all kind of broken down like it is now you can see that here you don't really need to give it too much attention after that but to begin with you do just give it a good stir round every now and again just to prevent it from sticking and I'm very sorry about my throat again and voice guys I've got the cold again but hey what can you do that's what happens when you stay in Scotland and again you're just going to need to um, Boil your turnip and mash it up and a wee, wee bit of butter, a wee bit of pepper and just make a nice creamy mash with your turnip. And at the same time, you want to get your potatoes on for mashing. You can just do them quite small. The smaller you make them, the easier you know they are to cook and the quicker they're going to boil and be ready. And in the fourth pan, <laughs> there's quite a few pans being used here, in the fourth pan, you're going to be making your um, your sauce. So bring your chicken stock to a boil and add in your cream. Give it a wee stir in. <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me, guys. Give it a wee stir round. Before adding in your uh, mustard, well, just pop your mustard in and again, give it a wee stir round. Now some folk add the, the whiskey to the stock initially and sort of reduce it by half but I don't like to do that because I find it's far too thick that way. I prefer a more kind of liquidy sauce but if you prefer a thicker sauce by all means add, the, add your um, whiskey into your chicken sauce at the beginning before your cream but this is just the way I prefer to do it and then just add your butter in and that's going to thicken things up a good bit. And then just, yep, go ahead, we stir round and give it about five minutes in a rolling boil and that's going to thicken up some more. And you can just set that aside once it's ready. So that's that guys, I mean, it was so simple. Now this is the fancy pants version. <laughs> if you want to impress your friends if they're coming round, you know, you can kind of layer it, stack it up, you know, you've got your haggis, your, your turnip and then your potato on top and then just put your sauce in the bottom of your dish and you can even put a wee bit of you know greenery on top parsley or whatever if you want to make it look extra special but we just had it the sort of traditional way but I just thought I'd show you this way as well in case you wanted to do that but yeah it looks quite cool but this is the way we normally have it which is your sort of traditional it's just kind of side by side and your sauce around the edges so yeah, easy peasy, but extremely tasty and very traditional. So thank you very much guys for stopping by again. Take care and I hope to catch you in the next one.